my kako. We are the group who created IPU. Uh, IPU stands for Indigenous Plants for You. And it's a vessel of knowledge to encourage um, Indigenous health and well being. So we're going to start off with some introductions. Aloha, Uvano, O Kahele Joaquin, No Keokaha Mayao, and I will be a MPH student at UH Manoa this fall. My name is Rain Sullivan, and I live here on Oahu. And this fall, I'll be pursuing my law degree. Aloha, my name is Loke Evans Bautista. I live in Hilo, and I currently work for Napua Noeao uh, at UH Hilo. Aloha. Aloha, everyone. My name is Hanu Del Mendo. I am a rising college sophomore at UH Manoa, and I am from Oahu. Aloha, my name is Emily. I am from Mililani, Oahu, and I am a PhD student in public health at UH Manoa. Aloha kako. So this app was an inspiration that branched out from an original idea of connecting cultural practitioners to community members. And so IPU evolved as an app that has a similar goal but on a much more personal level. So we wanted to directly connect Kanaka Oivi, um, indigenous people, to, to our aina, to our land. And we did that through the use of indigenous plants. And so our main goal, our mission, was to provide awareness and education on these four most prevalent health concerns that I will get into soon that are affecting our native Hawaiian population and um, to encourage our people to use indigenous plants to heal, to um, maybe prevent these health conditions and to restore that relationship um, from Kanaka to Aina, um, people to our culture and to our Lahui as a whole. And so out of the many problems that we have here in Hawaii, unfortunately, we, our group is very passionate about health. And so the four most prevalent health concerns amongst our native Hawaiian population are hypertension, cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. If you can take a moment and think about, see how many family members, how many loved ones, how many friends might I have who are diagnosed with these health conditions that may have passed away with these um, conditions already affecting their health. I already have a handful that I can count within my family. And so our group was very passionate about trying to heal our people. And so this is um, what we came out with. And I wanted to really emphasize um, the factors of why might our health be so poor. Um, as we know, there's so many factors that go into our overall health, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. And um, the two main factors that we're always told by medical practitioners is diet and exercise, right? We need a, a balanced diet to our exercise ratio. Others we might not hear too much is sleep, like something easy as sleep. We're always on our screens. We don't get enough sleep. We are overweight. We ate way too many processed foods. Another major contributor to our health is stress. And so all of these um, factors that I just mentioned all can stimulate cortisol, which is an inflammatory response, right? So Inflammation is a broad response that can be induced in so many different ways. And so other triggers like historical trauma, we are subconsciously dealing with that every single day on so many different levels. Emotional stress, um, interactions with our social groups, our family members, our community members, especially at this time. And financial stress is a huge one that we've been dealing with, you know, these past couple months. And so what 
if we're always in a hypersensitive state of stress, we can, we're gonna build up that stress. And with plenty stress, there's inflammation, right? That's our body's natural way of um, combating or reacting to stress. So if we have choke stress, we're gonna have choke inflammation and inflammation is a base of all the chronic disease diseases that we have. And I wanted to really emphasize of like all the factors that go into our health, but stress is one of those main that we deal with on a day-to-day -day ritual. Um, and we created this EPU app to address that. We wanted to encourage our people to get back to the Aina, um, use our indigenous plants for our health, to connect back to our culture, to connect with our land, and to heal our people. So I'm gonna turn it on to um, Rain, who will discuss more about the solution that we created. Mahalo, Kehele. And bridging on Kehele's point, um, of the, all the different factors that play a part in health and well-being, uh, the spiritual and the physical can't be separated. And so while our app just focuses on the physical aspect, at least for now, we wanted to present this, uh, you know, this, this saying by Papa Henry uh, to really hone in on the point. And our chief inspiration for this project was La'ao Lapa'ao. And so La'ao Lapa'ao is solving the problems of body, mind, and spirit. In Hawaiian healing, the mental is not separate from, from the spiritual and the physical rely on spiritual insight, and most of all, guidance from Keakua. And so when we think about this, our, our core focus was two-pronged, intervention and prevention. And so the way we presented the information was to talk about both traditional uses of these plants and also nutritional uses. And we wanted to do this division because we wanted to improve not only your today, but your everyday because our core mission is Ho'olah Lahui. And so we wanted to you know, use traditional uses that we had learned or researched, whether through Kumu or Ohana or through uh, Kapuna and present those as traditional uses while also presenting nutritional uses so that you can incorporate these nutritional and healthy recipes for your everyday. So that perhaps if you're pre-diabetic or you have maybe these concerns that are growing, you could use this as a way to help prevent that. And if you maybe already have these conditions, we present the traditional uses to help present that. And, you know, looking at these plants, and we'll explore later on, you know, through their traditional and nutritional uses, it's not only a way for us to take care of ourselves and our well-being physically and spiritually, but when we take care of ourselves, we can take care of the land. And we take care of the land, the land can take care of us. And so thinking about it as a, as a comprehensive uh, approach to health and well-being. And so, you know, our, our goal with this app, with all these different recipes and approaches, is that we want to make it as accessible as possible. From everyone from Kapuna to Mo'opuna, everyone can enjoy and use this app. And so I'll turn it over to my friend, Loke. Awesome, mahalo nui, kahele, and rain. So a little bit about Ipu. Um, I, I was given the word Ipu for our app um, and I was, because I'm not technology savvy like everybody else, I wanted to bring something. And so I, um, during my time of Pule, um, I was given Ipu with the meaning of it being indigenous plants for you. And um, like I, I think we've all shared, there's a lot of spiritual that goes along with physical. And so that, that's how we got the name Ipu. And then again, um, Kahele did some beautiful designing with the Ipu, our logo, and the different plants that are represented on there. So that's a little bit about Ipu. Um, so our Ipu app, so the goals of our app are to bring awareness of the four most prevalent health issues that Native Hawaiians face, um, and also to promote the use of indigenous plants to bring healing to our kino and to nurture and restore the connection to the Lahui, to the Aina, and to our culture. And so some of the features of our app, our app is so cool. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for you guys all to see it. Um, but some of the uh, features that we have is that we, um, 
we give a lot of statistics and information about four of the conditions that we're talking about. And we also offer some of the research that we've done on five of our indigenous plants. So you might be wondering, like, why did we choose five of the plants? There's so many to choose from. So because we have five in our group, and as we were discussing this, everybody had a story about a plant and about um, maybe a la'au la'au that they had. And so we ended up doing five plants. So the five plants we chose were our olana, mamaki, ulu, kukui, and um, kalo. And so um, each of the plants, we have an olalo no'eau for, we have characteristics of the plant, we have the health benefits of the plant, we even include where you can find it. So we were um, fortunate enough to have John Garcia share with us his Exchange app app. And so we put that link in our app to allow people anywhere in the state to potentially, if you have extra, put it on the app. You can share it with others. Uh, if you're looking for some, hopefully we can encourage the use of, of his Exchange app as well as in, encourage use of ours. Um, and we also have the traditional recipes. So the traditional recipes are each of us um, either researched it or it's a, a recipe that we already use or it might be a recipe that maybe our ohana had shared with us and maybe we didn't use, but we heard about it. So those are the traditional recipes that we bring. And we also want to put a disclaimer in there. None of us are certified la'au lapa'au cultural practitioners. None of us are doctors yet, but um, we still have an opportunity to use the knowledge from our kupuna. Um, and we also offer some fabulous ono nutritious recipes that we are hoping people won't be afraid to use the plants. I think a lot of times I've been like, I don't know how to use an ulu. I don't even know when it's ripe or when can I use it? And those were some of the things that helped me to, to um, realize that these are everyday problems. And so um, we're hoping that by using our nutritious recipes that um, people will use it to promote healing within their body and to also prevent some of the, um, four, of the four health disparities that we are, we're talking about. So with that being said, we are going to turn it over to Master Hanu and he will show us our app at this time. Enjoy. Okay, we're going to be switching over to Glide now. Glide is a software that we learned in this class. It's um, used to create apps without any code um, and done solely through the use of Google Sheets. Um, and if you want to follow along or if you want to try it out for yourself, you can scan the QR code in the top right hand corner um, and add Ibu app to your home screen. So starting out, we have our homepage, once again, our beautiful logo made by Kahele, um, and a section on, um, just a re reiteration of um, our website, um, the, the significance of the Ipu name, um, the significance to our purpose, to this app's purpose, um, and then a um, short little blurb, our mission statement. Right below that, we have health issues. So we talked a lot about how we wanted to sort of um, frame our app so that it was accessible to people and having these health issues, um, these four main, most prevalent health issues to Native Hawaiians today um, in the front of our minds, we felt that it was fitting to have them on the front page of our app right when you get in. Meaning that once you click on one of these health issues, you're going to be taken to specific information, um, specific traditional uses um, and nutritional recipes um, specific to each of these health issues. Um, so say I was diagnosed with hypertension um, and I go onto this app, um, what I wanna do is select hypertension and I'm taken first to the hypertension page. Um, we have an about section at the very top um, with a, just to learn more about hypertension um, and hypertension specific to the native Hawaiian population. Um, that was really important to us and resources 
outside resources, links to websites um, where you can learn more about um, community resources, um, just general information on high blood pressure as it relates to the Native Hawaiian population. And right below that, we have all the plants contained in this app, um, which have traditional uses that are connected to high blood pressure. Um, and say I have Olena in my backyard or I have it in my fridge or something, I can go on to Olena once again, carrying that Ipu theme throughout. Um, we have an Olelo Noeao at the top. And then similar to the health, the health issues section, we have an about section for Olena. Um, under about, Loke talked a little bit about this, but we have origins, so the backstory of the plant, um, and then um, a longer section on the health benefits. Um, and then if you have, you know, what you think is Olena, but you're not sure, you can go into characteristics um, and figure out if, if what you have, if what you have is Olena. Um, and if you don't have Olena, you can go into where to, where to find. Um, we've listed here for each of, each of the plants, we've listed links to resources, um, places to buy, places to find, places to get from people. Um, and then once again, Exchange app, which is a really great resource if you have um, things to exchange with others in your community. Um, so yeah. And then lastly, we have a grow your own section. So if you want to grow Olena in your backyard, or any of our plants, um, we have videos, text, and then sometimes images to, to, to teach you how to grow Olena on your own in your backyard. Um, and after going through that, or you can just skip down to the traditional uses and nutritional recipes, but we have traditional uses. So since you had clicked on the hypertension, um, high blood pressure at the beginning, you're going to get traditional uses for hypertension, um, Olena specific traditional uses for hypertension here. Um, we have Olena hot tea, and right below that you have the, the purpose of this traditional use. So the purposes may range from just, just what you had clicked on, or it may cover you know, all of the four health um, issues that we had started off with at the um, beginning of the app. Um, so a lot of these traditional uses that are contained in this app actually are, are very useful for, for all, of, all of our health issues. Um, we have what you need and what you need to do. Um, and then our disclaimer, of course, um, we felt it was, you know, in the interest of full disclosure, we better put this in. Um, we, are, we are not qualified healthcare providers. Um, and this all this information, um, especially the traditional uses, are on this app um, for the purposes of education rather than medical. Um, and please do not um, consult with your qualified and licensed physician or other medical care provider, <laughs> um, regardless of what you read on this app. But we try to provide you with the um, the best information and the most or, or the most factual information possible. Um, we have other some of the plants contain other traditional uses. Um, for example, Olena drops. You know, not one of our four main health issues, but is also good for sinus congestion and ear infection. And then lastly, we get to the nutritional recipes. So these nutritional. I know we are making the separation between traditional uses and nutritional recipes. Um, but nutritional recipes just as important, just as effective, um, and often more accessible to people. So we, if you want to make a delicious smoothie, um, you may want to make this berry Olena smoothie. Just add in a finger of fresh Olena and you're good to go. Not only do we want to, or not only is this app important for the health issues, but I also wanted to point out that there are these broader implications of you know, we talked a little bit about the spiritual aspect of it. Um, we have these, these, this health and nutrition aspect of it. Um, but you know, if you go under mamaki, one of our plants in here, there is information on how mamaki is the host plant for the Kamehameha butterfly, which is one of only two native butterflies in our state. Um, so, you know, the use of Olena, the use of mamaki encourages the cultivation of the, these plants in our community. Um, and in turn, you know, um, supports our environment, supports our land. Um, so yeah, the implications are far greater um, than just health and wellness. Um, and that is the extent of our app. Um, and we're going to go back to our website now and take a look at feedback. So lastly, uh, we wanted to talk about the feedback process that we went through. 
Um, so at two different stages, when we were developing the app, we asked people for feedback. And um, overall, the responses were positive, which was nice. Uh, people said it increased their knowledge. And after the first round of feedback, we were able to discuss comments people had made and whether or not uh, we were to implement their suggestions. So that was kind of a nice activity as a group to be able to discuss why we included certain things in the app and why we didn't include certain things. Uh, as you can see from this page, we had people from all ages uh, look at the app, as well as different, uh, whether or not they were diagnosed with these chronic diseases. But pretty much every, uh, the people who went over it said that they found something, they learned something new, or they found something that was useful. And what was nice was we felt like we accomplished our goal, which is to provide specific information about using native plants to promote wellness in native plants. And that's our presentation. <laughs> Encourage people to share their reactions, their virtual reactions. You can, uh, you can clap or thumbs up on Zoom if you want to. Um, you can make some noise if you want to. Team Ipo, that was fantastic. If you guys haven't had a chance to look through the chat, I recommend you do. People are super excited about your app. So thank you for that wonderful presentation. Um, I do want to say remarkable that in three weeks, both with Webflow and Glide, you guys accomplished incredible things. You should be so proud of yourselves. Donovan asked a great question. Donovan Kealoha asked a great question. Loke gave some great responses. That question was about how to get this in the hands of more people, right? What's the strategy for, um, for adoption? So, um, and Loke shared, um, shared some of that, but definitely want to know how we can help. Uh, I want to learn more about these native plants and all their uses. So how do we get it out in the hands of Kapuna, in the hands of Keiki? I think, you know, it has a wide, potentially a wide reach. So well done. If there are other questions, people can throw them quickly into the chat. But other than that, I think we have just a lot of encouragement and um, yeah, people celebrating Team Ipu. So well done, guys. Nice work.